Thanks, Senator Cornyn and Senator Cruz and Senator Schumer, my colleagues who have joined in this very bipartisan effort to assure simple justice to victims and survivors, their families, and others whose art was looted and brazenly stolen by the Nazis. This hearing room has seen a lot of history. This hearing is truly historic. It's a milestone and a landmark in assuring that this Congress speaks on behalf of justice. My father came to this country in 1935 to escape Nazi persecution. He succeeded in bringing over his immediate family. They did not lose art, but they lost lives of family members. The destruction and looting and theft of this art was more than pilfering of property. It was an act of inhumanity, robbing the victims of fundamental dignity and respect and culture that has lasted all of these years. It has been described in very clinical terms as, quote, the greatest displacement of art in human history, end quote. But that abstract characterization fails to do justice to the horror and unspeakable inhumanity of that era and of what they did. There are reports that hundreds of thousands of pieces of art and other cultural items were taken from those persecuted by the Nazis and an estimated 20% of Western art in Europe, according to the Commission on Art Recovery. The time is long past to return the ill-gotten gains of that unspeakable horror. It was, in fact, more than the theft of material goods. It was the hardship of loss of a heritage and of a personal background. And aggravating the theft was the destruction of the documentation by the same act of theft. In many cases, the opportunity of victims and survivors to bring their claims expired before World War II even ended under the statute of limitation. Arbitrary statutes of limitations should not be used to bar these claims. The federal courts have ruled that states cannot provide a remedy, and that is why the HERE Act is fundamentally needed. It's not just a legal issue, it's a humanitarian issue. Decades and generations overdue, Congress can now provide some measure of peace and justice to families whose cherished art was brazenly stolen, and the time is long well past for this action. Financial recovery can never fully recover. The lives that were lost can never compensate for the unspeakable inhumanity and tragedy of the Holocaust, but it helps recognize at least the courage and strength of survivors. In this room, echoing perhaps unseen and invisible, are voices and faces of people who could not be here. And their losses are very much with us now. You give them the advocacy that they deserve and need. And I thank every one of you for being here. Thank you.